Ladies and gentlemen, if you have any intention of eating meat from the grocery store over the next year or so, I highly recommend that you go ahead and buy it now and stock up that freezer because it's not looking good for the world's protein meat supply right now. A Smithfield food meat packing plant in Sioux Falls is shutting down operations for three days after the South Dakota Department of Health confirmed more than 80 employees inside tested positive for COVID-19. Tyson, one of the world's largest meat processors, is suspending operations at one plant this week after more than two dozen workers contracted COVID-19. Tyson says it's now diverting livestock to other plants to minimize the impact on production. JBS USA, another a large meat processing company says it's also suspending operations at one of its plants. CNN Business reports experts don't expect consumers to see much of a difference at the grocery store. Ladies and gentlemen, you are looking at the machine that feeds society shutting down. This is a controlled demolition of our food supply. We knew this situation in Sioux Falls was developing because only a few days ago they had identified this as a hot spot, according to the South Dakota Department of Health. And Smithfield was connected to a lot of the a lot of the cases up there, so this case to shut down meat production had been ramping up gradually over time. And sure enough, like I said yesterday, the governor actually reached out and said, "We'd really like to request that you just shut down your meat production until further notice, a temporary shutdown with no specified end date." This does build upon the fact that other meat plants around the country have been shutting down. From uh, Reuters here, quote, reduced meat output from the shutdowns threatens to tighten supplies of certain products at a time when demand is rising at grocery stores. Tyson shut down a hog slaughterhouse in Columbus Junction, Iowa. That's 2% of our total slaughtering capacity. National Beef said it suspended cattle slaughtering at uh, Tama, Iowa. These are unprecedented times for the industry. And JBS also had halted operations at a beef plant in Suderton, Pennsylvania. All of these shutdowns mean that there is a glut of meat, right? As Chris Van Beek puts it, what are we going to do with those 200,000 pigs? Producers are going to go broke without any place to sell their pigs or their poultry or their beef. They're going to be forced to euthanize their animals since we can't empty out the barns. This is not, this is, this is a significant problem. In fact, in his words, most small producers only work with one plant, so this is going to be a first-class disaster for Northwest Iowa. It's unbelievable. And as I said, stepping back a second, this is the case around the world. We've been seeing this same situation play out. We saw in China, coronavirus fears forced China into mass chicken coal with 100 million young chickens slaughtered due to the fact that they couldn't move food, that, that there was a shutdown they couldn't move animal feed around their country to keep the operations running so they were forced just to kill off the, the chickens and dump them just like we're seeing in northwest iowa right now uh, again in india same sort of a situation social media rumors on whatsapp linking chickens to coronavirus literally crashed the market in a matter of days there uh, costing the entire poultry market 1.6 billion rupees a day. We can read down here that uh, the barrage of WhatsApp forwards warning against poultry consumption only got worse over time. The warnings against diseased chicken became more dire. There were pictures and videos until finally farmers, ranchers who had been selling their chickens for uh, for 80 rupees each are now forced to sell them for like 5 to 10 rupees each. Basically a complete collapse in the poultry market, wiping out these people. Uh, and these are all small farm, you know, subsistence level farms uh, for the most part there. And so they're wiped out off the ramp. Globally, we're seeing protein production decimated right now. And farmers, here again, he drove his birds, dug a hole and buried them. Although he later deny doing that because it's against the law. But this is the scene that's playing out. You see that this is not a one-time thing in some field in Iowa. This is what happens when you can't feed your birds or when you can't get them to market or when the slaughterhouse shuts down and your pigs are already full weight. And at that point, they keep putting on weight even faster. You can't afford to feed them. What are you going to do? You're going to be forced to euthanize them and throw them in a hole. It's just a terrible situation. And, you know, to really drive this home... You can't just spin production back up. I've also been hearing from um, other folks that Tyson has been 
culling off all of their laying hens right now. And if those hens aren't there to lay the eggs to create the layers for next year, then egg production, we're just, we're watching all of our protein production be systematically dismantled right now. Experts don't expect consumers to see much of a difference at the grocery store. These lab-grown meat companies are still able to secure massive rounds. Uh, this one, Kale United, pulling down 350,000 euros in a single day to fund their... Somehow, that money is still flowing, even while everything else is shutting down. And you have to ask yourself, why is that happening? How are those things still moving forward? Well, it's because that's the plan. Textured, here's from the mirror.co.uk, pushing that agenda. Textured lab meat made from cow muscle cells could see the closure of abattoirs, which is slaughterhouses. Scientists stumbled over the development. We just happened to fancy that. Look at the, we just happened to figure it out when we were growing human muscle tissue for grafting. We had no intention of adopting the technique to fast food. And if you believe that, I have a bridge to sell you. Textured meat made from cow muscle cells has been created in a lab in an advance that could bring us closer to shutting our abattoirs. And here you see the woman at the Israel Institute of Technology responsible for this. Of course, that's bollocks. We've been hearing uh, since Lord Birkenhead a hundred years ago about how they were going to get rid of animal agriculture and uh, move to cell cultured meat that they're calling clean meat. It's disgusting. This is a long-standing plan and they are seizing on this opportunity now. Never let the crisis go to waste. They are not. They are going for the cashless, meatless, transhumanist society and they're doing it now. And uh, it's also worth mentioning that Michigan has joined Vermont in banning the seed, the sale of seeds, there is no rational explanation for why you would want to cut people off from seeds unless you are trying to preclude them from securing their own food supply, from growing their own food. You can't even do your housework when you're quarantined. You can't even buy leaf bags to pick up your leaves to clean up your own yard while you're on quarantine. This is a perfect example of the government taking away our rights every day time for America to wake up. This is not acceptable. This is against the law. This is not right. This is against our laws. We have constitutional rights to be able to buy this stuff and do our work. And they're refusing to let us buy even seeds to plant our own vegetables. We can't even buy seeds to plant our own vegetables. What are we going to do when the stores close down and we can't go to the stores to buy vegetables? Oh, that's right. We can't even farm our own stuff. Now, this guy's right, and he has a point, but his problem is, he keeps saying, this is unconstitutional. This entire takeover of the United States and the world. 18 counts of eggs, 568. Two and a half dozen of eggs, 898. This is ridiculous. These prices are crazy. We are going to die from starvation, especially for the ones that are not out here working. Like, seriously. For the ones that can't work, we gonna start from starvation because these prices are ridiculous. They done took the food prices all the way up. This don't make no sense. Experts don't expect consumers to see much of a difference at the grocery store. Took them down, really? Really? No, they didn't. I'm in Food Depot right now. And I'm telling y'all people, we are going to die out here. All right, the breaking news, a record shattering. 6.6 .6 million Americans filed for unemployment last week. That's 6.6 .6 million Americans filed for unemployment last week. That's 6.6 .6 million Americans filed for unemployment last week. That's 6.6 .6 6.6 .6 million Americans filed for unemployment last week. That